Welcome to another episode of Local Girl and Dirty Men's Shirt Reviews Millionaires in Clean, Expensive Clothing. <coughs> Hi guys, my name is Grace Helping. If you do not know, now you know your life is different now. The SAG Awards happened over the weekend. Not to be confused with the SAD Awards, which happened in my house. I was the only attendee. I won Best Supporting Actress for an ensemble cast in a comedy. The funny part is that there was no ensemble, it was just me. The SAG Awards happened, so let's review those red carpet fashions. This is sun reflecting from a window. It's as close as I get to going outdoors. Emma Stone, you look very elegant and chic and like some mean girls ripped half your dress off before you got on the carpet. You also kind of look like maybe you were in the bathroom and your publicist was like, Emma, we gotta go, we gotta go. And you're like, I can't get the rest of my dress on. And so you just walked out and everyone was like, oh, half of her lingerie show. She can do no wrong. Cute. Natalie Portman. <laughs> I love Natalie Portman. And I love that this has reminded me that I need to buy tissues, which I'm very thankful for because I'm still coughing up mucus and I'm running low on throw pillows. But you know what? To this I say, fuck it. Like she's super pregnant and these award shows are uncomfortable for people that aren't pregnant. If I was super pregnant at an award show, I'd want to wear a quilt too. This looks very tarp sharp. Tarp sharp. It's gonna be big in 2017. Every girl at Coachella is gonna be wearing tarps. And Portman did it first. Cute! Selma Hayek, who did this to you? Selma Hayek appears to have let her seven-year-old niece design her SAG Awards dress. I love that she's equal opportunity. It also looked like there was something that was happening on the shoulder that might have caught on fire in the limo on the way over, but she's not gonna let that ruin her day. Is that ribbon or like an adult leash around your waist? Either way, cute. Michelle Williams, you look so sad. Your face looks like how all of us are looking at the political climate right now. But you look glamorous. You look like a really glamorous roll of wrapping paper. Cute. Kerry Washington. Ooh, you always look so sexy. This looks like a Jersey Shore bride. Is that white sequin leopard print on this dress? I would say sneaky sneaky, but more like snooky snooky. I'll see myself out. It's this way. Nope. Janelle Monet. Okay, I love this because I love Janelle Monet and only she can pull this off. This is probably confusing to a lot of people, myself included, but it's unpredictable and that's what I love about Janelle Monet. It's unpredictable and that's what makes it exciting and lovable. Like my period. I never know exactly when it's gonna show up, but when it gets here, I am just so happy. Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Ooh, you look chic and sleek. And who said Vine is dead? I hate me too. Brie Larson. This is very like modern glamour. I can't tell if the top of your dress is an asymmetrical neckline or if your breasts are just sort of moshing up in this area. Either way, cute. Gina Rodriguez. I love this. I think this looks so pretty, sleek and sophisticated, but then it's quirky and fun because there's birds that look like they might be about to fuck each other, right? in this region. Very nature. Simple and complicated all at the same time. Who doesn't love that? In an emotional sense, most dudes don't like that. I've learned, so that's fun. <laughs> Thandy Newton. Whoa. This dress tells a story and I might have become illiterate. But I love Thandie Newton. She's fucking awesome in Westworld and so therefore I like this dress because that's how fashion math works. Is that like a Ferris wheel or is that the Wheel of Fortune wheel? If that is the Wheel of Fortune wheel, can I buy a wow? You look great. Nope, okay. Taraji, what are you doing to me? You look amazing. Your eyebrows as always look amazing. Your boobs as always look incredible. Who put those bows on you? Someone pranked you with those bows. They're like two little kick me signs. They just look a little out of place, but that's okay because you make me feel out of place in this universe because you're just so good and that's Cool. Sofia Vacarra. Ooh, this is different for Sofia. Usually she wears like full upgraded prom dress chic. And this is a short, cute little number. And she looks very upset with it. <laughs> looks like a 16 year old whose mom like forced her to wear like the hand-me-down dress that her grandmother gave to her to give to her for her homecoming and she is not happy with it. But like I said, Sofia is used to like a full length ball gown and you can tell those ankles are a little insecure about being exposed. So I appreciate you stepping out of your box, Sophia Vergara. Sophie Turner, this looks great. You look great. Can you just fuck up once in a while so I have something to say? <laughs> Julie Bowen, this is really cute and sexy and elegant, but I think I might be actually looking at her real vagina, but I'm trying not to. 
I think the woman behind you is also in the same boat as me. Kate Hudson made a lot of choices with this ensemble. I like to imagine that she went to her stylist and was like, uh-uh, we're not doing one bandeau top, we're doing two. Uh-uh, I'm not wearing the corsage around my wrist, it's going around my waist. Uh-uh, that cape's not going around my neck, we're cutting it in half and putting each cape on my shoulder. And the stylist was like, ma'am, you're in a Starbucks. Cute! Viola Davis, don't you look like the fanciest most elegant mother of the bride. She always looks so sophisticated. Oh, here comes the wave of feeling like an actual pile of garbage. Cute. Ellie Kemper, this is so pretty. Blue velvet, very trendy, but still so sophisticated. I gotta say, I'm a big, big fan of velvet. Is it sad to announce that you're a fan of a fabric? <laughs> Kelly Cuoco! Hey. Maisie Williams, look at this old Hollywood goth elegant emo person. More descriptive words. This is like Avril Lavigne and Marilyn Monroe, Freaky Friday. Really cute girl. Claire Foy, oh boy, whoa, okay. I feel like the dresses on the red carpet sag awards went one of two ways. Super simple, elegant, or like every possible choice a dress could have on it all at the same time. And this one's the latter, but I don't hate it. And that's always a fun thing to say to another human that's putting themselves out there in a vulnerable way. <laughs> a lot of choices have been made, which is great because you do better on your SATs when you make a choice. Ariel Winter, winter is coming. Whoa, this is super sexy, but still like elegant and young. Am I looking at a glow up? This looks so good. Good for you, girl. Also, those two men behind you are like the stock image photo that comes up if you Google image search old men young women. <laughs> the boys from Stranger Things. Look at you. Who styles these guys? And why do they not style every single man in Hollywood? Because these kids have looked better on the last couple red carpets than I've seen over the last like years of reviewing them with the men in Hollywood. You got what? We're in a green suit and pinstripes and blue suede shoes and just like classic shoes. Do you even know? the fashion risks that you're taking and the fashion legacies that you're making. Also, I started following some of them on Instagram and I feel weird about it because they're children. Millie Bobby Brown, AKA the younger girl from Stranger Things. I feel like every photo I see of her on the red carpet gets a little bit more mature and her style gets a little bit more refined and a little bit more defined to make it more personal to her and I become a little bit better at finding descriptive words to bullshit my way through fashion reviews. Cute. There you go, there's my review of the red carpet fashions at the SAG Awards. Leave a comment down below and let me know who was your favorite fashion thing at the award thing. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click this button to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I make videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on an extremely inconsistent but pleasant basis. I don't know. Memory heart, look at you. What the fuck? You look great. I don't mean to sound shocked as if you don't always look great, but you look really beautiful here. You're wearing pink? It is taking all of me not to make a two in the pink, one in the stink joke right now.